the Montgomery bus boycott was a first major crack in the dam of segregation in the South. Black bus passengers routinely relinquished their seats near the front of the bus for whites. On December 1, 1955, seamstress Rosa Parks was ordered by the driver to give up her seat for a white passenger. She refused and was promptly arrested. Local NAACP President E.D. Nixon and other community leaders founded the Montgomery Improvement Association to organize a boycott of the city bus system. Women like Joanne Robinson, Johnny Carr, and Irene West worked to organize a carpool in support of the boycotters. Newly arrived pastor Martin Luther King Jr. was selected as the MIA president, but women formed the backbone of the boycott. Both King and Nixon had their homes firebombed, but on November 13, 1956, the U.S. Supreme Court finally ruled that segregation on public transportation was illegal. The boycott ended on December 20th, with blacks and whites riding together on the bus in any seat they chose. Good morning, STM. My name is Sarah, and I'm here today from United Against Racism. During Black History Month, our committee will be showcasing freedom and social justice movements throughout history that resulted in significant advancements for the rights of black people in honor of the theme of the month, which is black resistance. As we just learned in the video, the Montgomery bus boycott was a civil rights protest against the Montgomery bus system that resulted in the Supreme Court ruling segregation on public buses unconstitutional. The protest followed the arrest of Rosa Parks, who had refused to give up her seat in front of the bus to a white passenger. It lasted 381 days and was led by influential activists Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, and E.D. Nixon, and was largely organized and supported by groups like the Women's Political Council and the NAACP. Although the protest was met with significant resistance and violence, their efforts were able to greatly improve lives and impact extraordinary change. Thanks, STM. United Way helps people to help themselves and to be a better and stronger community. You know, with Asher, he's, he's only three years old, but we didn't think that it was too early for him to start uh, realizing the impact of giving back to the community. A lot of people don't understand what United Way is all about, and part of what I like to do is, is be able to sway them to understand more about what it's all about. He gets the opportunity to experience camp like every other child without the assistance of United Way. I don't think we'd be able to do what we do with Evan. If the United Way wasn't there, the game change probably wouldn't happen. That was the, the help that I needed. We'd just be a mess without the United Way. Thanks to the kindness of the United Way and volunteers, I'm, I'm able to have a piece of life. Together we are possible. Good morning, STM. As you just saw, the United Way is a vital organization that directly helps people in need right here in the STM community. To show our support of United Way, students and staff are encouraged to wear a red or white t-shirt this Wednesday, February 15th. Students and staff are also encouraged to donate to the United Way fundraiser using school cash online. A $2 donation will earn you a ballot in our United Way raffle. A $10 donation will earn you five raffle ballots and so forth. Many great prizes and gift cards will be raffled off to students and staff who have donated to School Cash Online, with a $100 Visa gift card as a grand prize. Prizes will be drawn next week. St. Thomas More, show that amazing school, school spirit through your generous online donations. Change starts with you. Good morning, STM. My name is Alessandra. And my name is Mary Paul, and here are your announcements for today. There will be a meeting next Monday, February 13th, in room 342, immediately after school, for those interested in trying out for the senior boys soccer team. An outdoor tryout will take place next week, weather permitting. STM will be bringing back the step squad. Any senior student with experience who is interested in helping start this team should meet in room 336 after school today. Calling all theater lovers, STM is gearing up for its spring play and looking for charismatic and artistic students to join its team. Whether you are interested in a performance role or working behind the scenes, there will be an information meeting Monday, February 13th after school in room 102. If you cannot make the meeting, please see Ms. Rideout in 102 to get all the details. Be sure to come out and support your senior boys basketball team on Monday at 4 p.m. in their semifinal game versus the team from Stony Creek. Let's pack our gym and support our senior nights. A message from more neuroscience. Did you know that the heaviest normal human brain weighed 4.43 pounds and belonged to the Russian writer Eigen Turgenev? 
More fun neuroscience facts to come at our meeting after school today in room 333. Hope to see you there. And lastly for sports. Last night, our junior girls volleyball team beat SJB in their quarterfinals game. Great job, ladies. We will, be, we will match ACMT in the semifinals on Valentine's Day, Tuesday, February 14th. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. Good morning, STM. I'm Adriana. And I'm Marcus. Here are some student council announcements. Knights, Valentine's Day is just around the corner, so don't forget to purchase a candy gram at the student council office during third and fourth period. They are $2 each, and the last day to purchase one is Monday, February 13th. All you need to know is the person's name and their first period room number. If you have ordered an STM crew neck, please come by the student council office during third or fourth period to pick it up. Lastly, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at STM underscore council. Have a great day, Knights. STM, those are all of your announcements for today. The time is now 8.22. And remember, it's a great day to be a Knight.